Nigeria is the most populous black nation on earth. It is the home to the second largest film industry in the globe. Nigerians is known for their vibrant and friendly energy expressed through diverse creative expressions. Nigeria is also a country with many cultures and beliefs and coming from what they believe, there are many myths and facts today. And on Top Ninja Life today, we are going to be looking at some of those myths and facts of my great country. Fish eye <gasps> make you dull. This is a belief people still believe it. Tell me you did not believe that. And this is actually a lie. Mm. You hear people sing like Olo Dorabata, Ojo Dalomo, Bush Baby. According to Nigerian folk tales, Bush Baby usually stays at night in the bushes and cries like a human baby. It's actually um, said that anybody who listens to that cry will think it's a baby that's crying and then you go there like maybe to go to the baby's aid and then the mystical animal will just kill you and eat any of the victim that comes with the aid. That sounds like a fairy tale story to me. <laughs> if you spit on the floor and do not cover it or clean it up and someone steps on it, your throat starts to ache you. Mmm, tell me you do not believe this one. Reincarnation. One of the most popular Nigerian myths is the one told about the Yoruba, where the dead are expected to return to their family in the form of a newborn baby. Who the child is can be determined by its resemblance to the dead. For example, a boy that resembles his parental grandfather will be named Baba Tunde. Father returns. Most strange, however, is that the belief that if a person dies young, their ghost can go to another town and live there as if they were not dead, even getting married and having children over there. Logically, theoretically, it's a lie. Mm. It can be possible. A pregnant woman must pin her dress in the middle when walking in the sun during the day, unless the child will be possessed by an evil spirit. Some of our myths and facts are actually ridiculous and funny. When someone walks over your sleeping body, it means you are a corpse. There are some of us that looks like this or who took this very personal or too serious and hated lying on the floor because of fear. You see people, it's very common in the African homes. They do not like lying down on the floor, especially very close to an entrance. They tell you, don't lie down there, so get my cross over you, and it means you're dead. When this death trap happens, we revoke it by insisting that the person crosses back and breaks the death trap. A grown child shouldn't eat directly from a pot. Why? Well, normally, when you want to talk about ethics and morals, you're not supposed to eat from a pot, you're supposed to take from the pot, but it's not meat, sit down and eat neatly and nicely, right? But you telling me that somebody eating directly from a pot, that child will not be smart or will not be wise is barbaric. How can you tell me that because I ate directly from a pot as a grown child, I'm not going to be smart in school? How now? When rain and sun collides, it means a lion is giving birth. We believe this. I believe it. I told you guys from the beginning of the video, I believed a lot of this myth in fact. And now I just feel my mind and I'm just like, oh, I was so damn stupid and I think so. No one gets pregnant the first time they have sex. Hmm. A lot of young girls believe this is something that makes them immune to being pregnant at the first time they have sex. This is very wrong. And this is very, very false because there is a very high chance of pregnancy occurrence the first time sex occurs. Beating a boy with a broom or turn a stick make his manhood shrink. Some Nigerians believe if you beat a boy with a broom or a turn a stick or morogo, it will shrink the size of the penis. As a remedy, if a boy has been beaten with a broom, he would have to beat the same person several times. With a broom. Sleeping with your legs on the walls means you're a witch. 
We all stay in different positions when we are sleeping. But in a Nigerian home, when you're sleeping with your legs in the wall, you are labeled a witch. <laughs> Why? Because people think that's how you um, that how quick you can go for a meeting. Your legs is already in the wall like a bat. So you can just transform and you know you, you will change to your animal and pew, you're off. <laughs> very 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 funny and it sounds false to me so guys we've come to the end of today's video i'm sure most of you believe most of this facts and myths and if there's anyone you've believed here you know while growing up let us know in the comment section below put a fact or myth that you hear when you were little down in the comment section below and also if you want us to do more meet in fact video let us also know in the comment section below i will be doing part two for the video so guys that's the end of today's video thank you and if you enjoy it i enjoy it too do not forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and turn on post notification also follow us on our social media handle displayed on the screen thank y'all i love y'all